I'm a convicted felon. Never listened to Billie Eilish, but I heard of Billie Eilish because I'm Gen Z. So it's all around me. So I came on here to see if she's my cup of tea. I have an idea on what she sounds like. I've heard Ocean Eyes. That was a while back. I don't know if it sounds evolved or what. I don't know. So without further ado, I'm going to listen to this album. You're not here to see me ramble. Yo, Toe, I'm a comedian. Don't ban me. I'm not violent. I'm not a felon. I don't hit people hard or soft. You want to know what's crazy? I typed in the song right. This shit said 33 videos. I was like, I didn't know if this album had 33 songs. I was about to cut the video. But I clicked on it. And it's 10 songs. Perfect length. Pause. Hit me hard and soft. I wonder what that could mean. I'm going to try to decipher that as I listen through the video. Not the video. The album. Billy Eilish. Hit me hard and soft. Let's get into it! Is my mic on? Alright, it is. I was about to throw my computer. It's already on its last legs, as y'all could probably hear. Chart one! Skinny. Billy by Phineas. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. I didn't know she could do that. I know I might say this for a lot of people I haven't listened to. Like, I've heard of their name, but I haven't heard their music. I know I might say this a lot, but I don't, I didn't know she could, like, sing! Like, I can't do it like her. I didn't know there was that much control in the esophagus. I, bro, oh, I love that right there. How many times did I play this back? Oh, uh, where the fuck is she at? Where are you? Here come the beautiful orchestra violins, the Italian violins. Go to Italy, Sicily, you're getting married. You're walking down the street, hundreds of people on the, 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 on the houses. You're walking down the road. People are playing the violins. There are doves. There are roses being thrown at you. I don't know what I'm saying. That's a lot of goddamn people. Are those people or am I? Are those people or am I? Hi. Transition segue. Ah, I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. Try two. Blanche. I love that. I love when albums, I love when songs segue into each other. That's how you orchestrate an album. But y'all, I didn't know she had those notes. When people are as popular as her, I don't really assume that they're, they're not the strongest in terms of the actual vocal singing. I just think that they make like fun music. Because we don't live in a society that rewards and emphasizes talent first. I did not know she could do that with her voice. Cry. Don't watch this video around any glass. It will shatter. Could eat that girl for lunch as she dances on my tongue. Hey, yo! Well, I wasn't expecting that. And I'm not gonna lie. Dances on my tongue. Be honest. Like, we kind of look alike. Like, we look similar. Except I'm a black man, she's a white woman. But, like, just ignore that. She kind of looks like me. What are you about to do? Billy. Been trying hard not to overheat. Hey, yo. You're just so sweet. Hey, yo. So, is she homosexual? 
Or is she ahead of the sexuals? I like this music video. It's not very throwbackish. 2000s. MTV shit. What could you do? Oh shit. No, Lynn. Why is there 20 seconds left? Don't tell me it's a black screen. If it's a black screen, I'm about to spaz out like a crack fiend. Okay. That wasn't a fart. That was my fault. I know how it can sound. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Um, I can't really relate to that song. You know, I don't have a cunt muscle. Track three. Chihiro. Shy hero? Chihiro? I don't know. Said you won't forget my name. Kinda strange. I got change. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. Who the hell left all these doors open? It's a pet peeve of mine. Close the fucking door when you leave the room. Open up the door. Can you open up the door? No, close it! She has a lot of control with that falsetto though. I'm not expecting that. And when she does that, I just want to hear, all right, how far can you go with this? What more can you do? I'm impressed. Whoa. Who's this? What the fuck is going on? Am I, am I getting high? Here's some knowledge, here's a truth bomb for anybody out there. Me as a man, I could speak for it. If a man lies to a woman, it's because you cute and shit. A man will always lie to a pretty woman so i feel like we should just stop taking that as a sign of disrespect you know what i mean men and women we're different we show emotions differently if you're a pretty woman like mm, ah you pretty i'm gonna lie to you and there's no harm behind it run boys run uh -oh. damn billy eilish you gotta hit a zigzag at some point you see someone's closing in on you, you gotta hook hook Throw them all track. You never watched the National Geographic when the cheetah's chasing the gazelle. Yeah, the cheetah's faster. The cheetah, boop, 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 and the cheetah gets fucked up. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> this was confusing. I'm trying to decipher what I just, not what I just watched, but what I just heard. The message in the music is more important than the video. Open up that door. What could it mean when she says open up that door? Is someone hiding from her? I'm gonna assume the song is about a situation shit. Where her love interest is closed off. And she's trying to bridge that gap. But he's like, no, 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 no. She's like, oh. He's like, oh, okay, okay. Then she's like, oh, actually, no, no, no. And he's like, no, it's too late. And then she's like, you know what? I was, I was confused. You know what? We should do this. And then, uh, uh, uh. That's how I'm going to explain to my child how babies are born. That's how I interpreted it. I hope I just wasn't saying bullshit and I look stupid. Try four! Birds of a feather. Whoa. Is this 60 frames per second? This is smooth as shit. I've heard this song! Is this song popping on TikTok? This song makes me feel like I'm at a JC Penny. Or a Burlington. And I'm trying out clothes in the clothing room. Isn't it crazy how certain sounds could just bring you to a specific place in your head? Oh, 
What did she say? I know she didn't just say what I thought she said. Get the fuck out the screen! Tell me, is it bit? All right. Birds of a feather. Isn't it feathers of a bird? Birds of a feather? Because feathers are a part of a bird. Birds. Birds of a feather? What does that mean? Okay, falsetto. I feel like a small ass human and she's carrying me around. This is what people on Attack on Titan saw. Before they got eight. Alright, that was like a little ease of listening song. My favorite song so far is the first song, Skinny. Birds of a Feather, that was something slight. That was something slight. Track 5! Wild Flower. Well, Loki, wanna take the glasses off. I always have the glasses on when I'm, when I'm reacting to the music. But these music videos are so dark. But this light is bright as shit. So I'm in a dilemma right now. No. Unless there's infidelity, unless there's cheating, you need to stay with the person you're with forever. Obviously, there's going to come a point in time where you fall out of love. The love isn't at where it was in a honeymoon phase. Obviously, that's going to happen. You get your first car, you get your dream car, you're excited. Six months later, it's like nothing. It's still the same car, but you're numb to its presence now. But that doesn't mean the love's disappeared. It's still there deep down. You should never leave. People should never leave each other. If shit's going downhill, find a way to put it back up. We in this shit together. All the time. Whoa. This guitar is so good. She's complimenting the guitar so good. I already think this is the best song so far. Did I cross the line? No. Uh, you're not an immigrant like me. We crossed the lines. In the back of my mind Oh, oh, oh shit Oh damn, that felt like I shouldn't get yellow marked if I say this S-E-X Boom, I spelled it out This, this sound right here, this is the cuddling part. Uh, your Uber is here. Bro. I see the appeal now. I understand it. The crescendo of that song was immaculate. The song made me feel like, made me feel like I'm on top of the mountain by myself. And I'm just looking at the view. Had that song playing. My arms spread. What the fuck am I saying? I'm a real imaginative person, yo. So, like, if I get to saying stuff like that, just ignore it. Or, like, skip 10 seconds. Track six, the greatest. She knows how to harmonize, doesn't she? Doing what's right. Out of you gotta do what's right because it's right, not because there's a reward. And intrinsically, we don't think that way. But with growth, you learn to practice that, and eventually it becomes seamless. And suddenly, a portion of life just seems healthier and better. My neighbors probably think there's a mouse trap on my nuts hat. Bro, I wasn't expecting that. You know, she gives me Lana Del Rey vibes. Nah, I for sure see the appeal, bro. Get the fuck off my screen. Oh. You still are the greatest. Don't stir away from who you are just because there are other people who are fighting their own demons. You have your sword, you stick your sword through all the negativity. You gotta make negativity look stupid. When negative comes to you, you just gotta look at it like, what the fuck are you doing, nigga? 
Now stick your sword through that bitch. Now everybody's destined for greatness. I'm trying my best. Whoa, what? Did the song just... I'm trying my best. No, don't loop. You just confused the fuck out of me. God damn, this is in a different language. La morte, mavi. La morte, lavi. Try seven. La amorte, mavi. I don't, I don't speak Russian. I wish you the best for the rest of your life. Felt sorry Thanks. for you. I love how she hits those notes, bro. I tried to eat the Mountain Valley. Oh, that's water. I thought that was tequila. Like, you don't want to get drunk in this dark ass, foggy ass, loud ass stadium. You said you'd never fall in love again because of me. Then you moved on. Damn. I mean, it goes back to what I'm saying. I mean, I don't know if you're talking about a man or a woman. You know, there's some ambiguity now, unless I hear some pronouns. But it doesn't matter. It goes back to what I was saying before. They still could be in love. It's just that you're not an option anymore. So they need something to fill that void. So another person will suffice until we can get back around to where we left off at. It's something people shouldn't do. I'm not justifying it, but I'm just saying why it occurs. <laughs> Oh my god. Whoa! Are we in the 80s with a motherfucking time machine? Ah, ah. Oh this shit is hard. <sighs> wow. You surprised me right there. Amor, hey, la I'm gonna assume this means love of my life. I don't know what language this is. I'm gonna assume it's Italian or French. Something with Latin origin. First part, it was confusion on why they left and at the end of that first part, she then came to the realization why that happened, which I explained earlier. And the second part of this song is the elation. You're free from that, from that, from that, from that. What's the word? Is burden the word? I'm just gonna say that. I'm just gonna say that. I'm just gonna say burden because I don't want to sit here and have to think about a word. Then I gotta spend more time editing this video. I wasn't expecting that Sith pop. I didn't know she had that in her bag. It's like, damn, Billy. Track eight, the diner. I will never call the cops. I'm a felon. This is crazy. What is this shift I'm hearing right now? It's like early 2000s pop. Bro, it feels like I'm in a club right now. I can't hear you. I gotta be honest. Well, so that was different from the past few songs that we were hearing. They gave all strong Britney Spears vibes. I'm not gonna lie, I wish more songs were like this on this album. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe because it's something you could dance to. You can never go wrong with music that you could dance to. Try nine. Bitter sweet. Like hotel sweet. Look at this man. Oh shit. I'm already knowing this song's gonna be good. This might be my favorite song. Oh, yes, those sips. I love the heights of her songs. I'm noticing that's a strong suit within her bag. And I know it's not all just her. I know it's the production, too. But she's complimenting it. At the end of the day, you got to compliment that shit. And she's doing that just well. Oh, is this a switch? I'm so paranoid. I 
I love these drawings, bro. Oh, deep ass sips. Bittersweet, I would say that definitely had the best production. La Amor de la Ve. I think that's the best song on here. Vocal performance, lyrics, production, all that. All that supersedes all the other songs. Track 10, last track. Azul. I know this song, I think. Wait, no, did it? Wait, didn't we hear this song already? Uh oh. Uh oh. The pressure's on me now. Did we not hear this song already? What the dog doing? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and look after. Is this not birds of a feather, or is this like a a reprise or a continuation of that song? She has a beautiful voice, bro. I didn't know that. It sounds like it could be in some suspense, drama, crime, detective movie. And it's a song that plays that describes the feelings of the mobster's wife. After some shit just went down, I can envision it. Paranoid and petrified. Who's a good boy? A lot of versatility. I also didn't know she had versatility. I'm learning a lot today. Uh -huh. Come on, Violets! And just like that, and just like that, we have it. Hit me hard and soft by Billie Eilish. I gotta be honest, y'all. I gotta admit, I don't know what to say after listening to this. I really gotta let my thoughts recollect and marinate. All these songs follow the theme, except Lunch. Lunch was kind of freaky. All the rest of these songs, though, convey the sense of emotion within a relationship. But then two people who love each other, then the love falls out. But it's just like, all right, do I want to chase this love? Don't want to fight for this love? Or do I just want to leave it and move on? Fat ass dilemma that we're going to put in sips, bass, drums, violins, and lyrics. La Amor de Ma Vie. This, this was the best song for me. Billie Eilish is big as fuck. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm Gen Z. I see the cultural impact that she has on the people my age. And for the longest time, I never got into it. Finally got into it. And y'all hear, like, y'all hear how I'm impressed by it. Hit me hard and soft. This album hit me hard and it hit me soft. I don't know how to accurately rate this, bro. Because obviously some of the messages in these songs, it doesn't pertain to me. Like, I'm a man. And she's speaking from a woman's perspective on about another woman, which is something I can't synchronize with. Definitely didn't disappoint vocally. I didn't know she was this talented, bro. Some of the choruses on here, mm, 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 mm. immaculate. I guess for now, this is not a final. This is not a final rating, by the way, because it's my first listen. Like you can't expect me to fully digest what I just heard. You don't do that with music. You go back and listen to it. I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this a seven? Mainly because, mainly because some of the things of the songs don't pertain to me. In a different universe, when I'm in a different vessel, then this down rating could be a 10, but I wouldn't know. This is a personal album, and with personal albums, it has to, you ha the listener has to relate to it. In order for it to have its full impact. Hit me hard and soft by Billie Eilish. I'll give it a 7. You know, like I said, sonically, musically, this was good. In terms of message, I can't accurately rate it. Shout out Billie Eilish. You're very talented. I'm not going to lie. You're very talented. I must admit.